What's up guys? Today's video is about something that is really interesting, I think, that Microsoft announced, and that is that they are releasing something for Windows 10 called Ultimate Performance Mode. Sounds kind of strange, but also intriguing, so that's what we're gonna go over. What is this new mode? Well, simply, it is a new power plan. So you might know that if you go into Windows 10 or really any version of Windows, you can go into the power settings and there's different modes you can do, like balanced or low power consumption or even high performance. And now, in certain versions of Windows, well, one of them, and that would be Windows 10 Pro for workstations, they're gonna be adding a new one, Ultimate Performance Mode. So what the heck is that? And how could that be better than high performance? Don't you think that normally they would already allow you to have the highest performance? Well, apparently not. So the idea is that this new performance mode will remove so-called micro latencies. And they're able to do this because when they were making Windows 10, they supposedly made some trade-offs for power consumption or efficiency versus performance. And they figured that 99% of people would not even notice the difference in this, but it would maybe make a big difference in power consumption. But in this, they decided, you know what, let's just release all the stops and make a mode that does no compromises. And yeah, it might use way more energy, but these people aren't gonna care if they're gonna be using that mode. Now, this performance mode is not actually out yet. It's in the pre-release stage. So if you're a Windows Insider subscriber, you can get pre-release versions of Windows and use it there. Although again, you do need to have the Windows 10 Pro for workstations version of Windows. Now I talked about this in other videos before, I'll put a little thing to pop out so you can see what I'm talking about, but basically Microsoft did announce a new edition of Windows above Windows 10 Pro that has really some features that most people are not gonna need, I don't need them. It's more for people who are like hardcore professionals who need enterprise grade features. But let's put a lid on that for now, we can talk about the whole workstation version of Windows at the end. But next, I think it'd be interesting to talk about why Microsoft released this and does it make that much of a difference. So first of all, me personally, I haven't tried it yet, but determined by the way they're talking about this, you know, they're saying squeeze out the last bit of performance. They're calling it remove micro latencies. So it seems like they're not really promising a ton of improved performance despite the name, Ultimate Performance Mode. So the idea is, yeah, you're gonna get the most out of it, but it might not be that much more. And the timing is also kind of telling. You might know that just a couple weeks ago, there was the big Spectre and Meltdown CPU exploits that were released and announced. And this caused a lot of manufacturers, and Windows included, to have to patch the way the operating system uses the CPU and actually remove some optimization features because those features in the CPU were exploitable. So the result of that is that a lot of CPUs actually have a little bit decreased performance because they literally had to remove the optimizing features from the CPU, you're gonna get a hit from that. So I wouldn't be surprised if this new ultimate performance mode is really a way to kind of offset that change and decrease in CPU performance. Maybe they figure that people who might notice a difference can at least maybe get a placebo out of this new power performance mode and at least be able to get something out of it. Again, I don't imagine this is gonna be a massive difference, but I am assuming it can't hurt, especially if you're on a desktop, there's no point. Although keep in mind, they do not allow this at the moment on battery powered devices. Now, I don't know if that applies to a laptop that's plugged in, but just keep that in mind. And I do assume that overclocking is gonna make way more of a difference than this new power mode ever will. I mean, if you have a reasonably overclockable CPU and good cooling in your computer, it's definitely not unreasonable to get like a 20 to 30% increase out of an overclock. So if you really need that performance and you have a Windows 10 Pro for workstation edition of Windows and actually use it, I think you would know how to do that overclock anyway. And if you're like me who doesn't have Windows 10 Pro for workstations or just Windows 10 Pro, I don't really think you're missing out on much but you can actually upgrade to the Windows 10 Pro for workstations. If you're on home or pro, you can go into the Microsoft Store through Windows, and I believe it's like 125 to upgrade to that edition of Windows. And you do get some additional features, but again, I do not think you're gonna ever need these. One of these is a new file system support, resilient file system. 
I don't think anyone really even knows what that is or else you would probably have Windows 10 Pro for workstations. There's also support for multiple CPUs like you might get in a server grade motherboard. Again, I think if you're buying a motherboard with multiple CPUs on it, you'd know what you're doing and you probably don't need this video to tell you about. And some other features include hardware for enterprise systems like there's some network adapters that support special protocols for really minimizing latency. But again, you would have to specifically go out and search for that kind of hardware. Almost no consumer device is gonna have that sort of stuff. So I guess the main conclusion of this is, yes, it's a super awesome new feature if you actually can use it. But if you don't already have this Windows 10 Pro for workstations, probably not gonna be worth it to upgrade just for this because in that case, you may as well just overclock and be done with it and get more performance out of it. So I would be interested to know what you guys think though. Maybe you are looking to upgrade. You're like, I gotta have that maximum performance. And maybe you are a professional who can actually use it. So we can talk about that down in the comments. I'd wanna hear what you guys think about that. If you wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos, usually two to three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So it should be worth it. So again, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.